Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance that was released back in the year of 1999. The fragrance is from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. The fragrance is called Salvatore Ferragamo Pour All. Now again, released back in 1999, it's been around for quite a while, and it was a fragrance that I had thought that I had worn and tried before, but when I actually started you know, compiling the review and doing my testing, I realized, no, I have never actually come across this fragrance. Uh, so it was a little bit of a pleasant surprise in that respect. Now, fragrance is available in two main sizes, a 3.4 and a 1.7. Uh, if you look around though, I saw this as inexpensive as around $20. So uh, it is more towards the bargain bins and you'll find it at like Marshalls of places. So do some searching around and see if you can get it for a cheap price if it's something that interests you. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the notes of the scent. Notes of the scent are listed on screen. Biggest takeaway here, fig, 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 fig. Uh, that fig opening, it comes across as very relaxing, dancing on the same time as playful. And you get fig and you get a little bit of a citrus note that comes along with it. And it, it really is a very pleasant opening. Now, as the fragrance kind of develops, you start to get a little bit more of the spices. You start to get a little bit of cardamom kind of coming in. Uh, and the spicy notes begin to kind of weave their way into the fragrance. You get a little bit of vetiver. It's just, um, it kind of brings a little bit more seriousness to that playful type of a figgy note that you get to it. And once you get to the dry down on the fragrance, the wood start to come out, the fig kind of recedes a little bit, the spices kind of recede a little bit, and it becomes like a woody, a woody, citrusy, figgy, spicy fragrance that you get at the end of the day when you're kind of finished with this fragrance. Now for me, I started off as a fragrance that I was like, man, this is a really pleasant fragrance. I really like this fragrance. But as time went on, I'm like, oh, you know what? Ah, uh, the trouble with fig started to rear its head again. For those of you who don't know, I don't like fig generally as a note. It can go either one of two ways, but when it doesn't go my way, when it goes a way that I don't like, it starts to become nauseating on me and I just, you know, have to almost kind of retch on it. Not a bad smelling retch, but it just makes me nauseous. I'm not really sure how to describe it. And unfortunately, this scent kind of induces the same thing. And after about, you know, hour or so, I start to get sick of the scent. I'm like, ah, I gotta get this off. So that's kind of my experience with it, but don't let it sour you uh, to the experience of the fragrance. Cause if you like fig, this is one that you're definitely gonna take a look at because it smells like, uh, uh, you know, from the house of Deep Deek, you've got Philosophicos, and you've got the Marc Jacobs fragrance. This is a fig lover's dream, if you will. If you love fig, go ahead and take a look at this scent because you're probably going to be uh, pleasantly surprised by this scent. Now, it's a fragrance that I go about usually two or three sprays on. I think this is a good fragrance to wear for casual and for work. If uh, you know you so choose, you can wear this one for work. It's a good fragrance to wear for the spring and the fall. In other words, times where the extremes are not too high or too low, I think this fragrance really does shine in that. Performance, I get, this was a little bit of a misnomer, but I get a little bit of, sometimes I get a good performance out of it, sometimes I get uh, not so good performance out of it. So I've gotten like nine hours one time, I've gotten two hours another time, five hours another time. And so I'm not really sure what to attribute the really change in performance. I kept spraying it on my skin and I, you know, kind of the same application, lotion first, then the fragrance, but I really wasn't able to figure out why it was so varied. So I just want to leave that as a possible note. Compliment wise, I did not get any compliments on this fragrance, but personally, I feel that fig really isn't, uh, a fig dominated fragrance really isn't the type of scent that's going to garner a lot of compliments just because, you know, it's a more relaxed, pleasant type of a smelling scent, not really a sensual or a compliment garnering scent. So, but that's my personal philosophy. If you have success with fig fragrances where you get compliments, please feel free, leave a note down below and let people know of that success because I'm always curious. I like to know little things about that, about fragrances. And this is a good fragrance for any age group. And especially if you're a younger person, I think that playfulness kind of lends itself to, uh, you know, the vibe, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this fragrance a rating. I give this fragrance a rating two out of five stars. Now, two out of five stars it gets for a couple of reasons. One of the biggest positives I have, obviously, on this scent is that it's an inexpensive scent at this point, uh, and I really do like the way that they kind of weave the fragrance together uh, and it goes about its journey. The problem is, as you know, I hate fig fragrances, and it's really rare 
for me to be able to stomach and stand a fig fragrance. There are a couple of fig fragrances that I've kind of grown on, like Wild from the house of um, the, uh, the author's for the author's house, essentially. I forget. Not imaginary authors. It's like Jardin. Oh, whatever. Uh, but anyways, that fragrance Wild that I have in my collection is one that I, has kind of grown on me. But, you know, I never went for Philosophicos. I've never gone for Marc Jacobs just because both of those scents kind of give me a nauseating feel. And this fragrance is the same. But if you're a fan of Fig, check this fragrance out because you probably will not be disappointed. And with the inexpensive price, it'll be something there. But, you know, for my purposes, couple that with the fact that it was just extremely all over the place in terms of performance, I can't really give it a good rating. So two out of five stars uh, with the caveat that if you're a fan of Fig, still check it out. All right, so that's pretty much my, uh, that's my take on this fragrance. Leave a note or a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or if you wanna give your opinion on what you think this fragrance is, all right? Thank you guys, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.